most common way of securing the airway with an endotracheal tube is with conventional direct laryngoscopy using a curved blade. Here are some details to help you improve your technique and minimize complications. A frequent problem is using the operating incisors as a fulcrum. Dental injury is a common cause of medical legal litigation. Dental complications can be minimized by always being mindful of not applying pressure to the upper teeth. Not uncommonly, the lower lip is dragged into the mouth and compressed between the laryngoscope blade and the lower incisors. This can cause deep lip lacerations which may lead to bleeding and airway management complications. To minimize this risk, the laryngoscopist should always investigate if the lips are cut against the teeth by sweeping them with his or her fingers as shown here. Sometimes the laryngoscope is held low by the handle and the small and ring fingers may obstruct the view. This is avoided by properly holding the laryngoscope by its handle. Lastly, do not get so close to the oral cavity that you lose stereoscopic vision with both eyes. If you get too close, depth of field perception is lost and recognizing the anatomy and placing the endotracheal tube may be more difficult. Furthermore, if the patient coughs, more secretions will reach your face.